what is going on guys so i get this question quite a bit um what's the differences and what are some of the pros and cons when dealing with a perfume oil or a fragrance oil versus an actual perfume spray one of the clean and immediate differences is of course this one is an alcohol based one they typically would use uh, a perfumer's alcohol, which could be upwards of a 200 proof neutral grain alcohol. With the oils, there's no alcohol. Sometimes some people may use a little bit in some of theirs, but typically most perfume oils or fragrance oils, you won't have any alcohol. It'll be like a, a, a carrier oil, a hobo oil. Sometimes they use grapeseed, almond, sweet almond oil, things like that. And they'll use like a, a neutral carrier oil for their fragrances. I'm gonna go over some of the concerns that I usually get from people about these two different types of fragrances. One of the concerns, projection. Will this project as much as spray? The answer to that is it depends. And it depends on what the particular fragrance oil is made of, what notes are in it. This here is an oil from Alpha Aroma, called Ethereal. Ethereal is a very floral, juicy, almost tea-like fragrance. Uh, it's very loud, it's very uh, nose-catching with the notes that it has. It has notes like peach and orange blossom, so it's, and, and jasmine and bergamot, and these are more so a really juicy, floral kind of scent profile that, that it creates when these come together and it's very easy to cut catch the nose it's not really light or anything like that it's not obnoxious and it's not heavy but it is very bold so it, it all depends typically these the travel sprays are going to project better the alcohol is creates like this more of a volatile state for that fragrance and it just allows those notes to sort of jump off your skin with the evaporation of that alcohol the alcohol hits the skin and it begins to evaporate in the air, causing us to be able to travel a lot further, a lot easier. But that's not always the case with every fragrance. It just depends on the note breakdown. It depends on how everything was mixed and blended together, what additives are used in certain fragrances. All these components contribute to that. But for the most part, you're gonna get better projection from your sprays than you would your oils. Another thing that comes up when speaking about this is longevity. Another thing that comes up when dealing with this particular topic, longevity. Out of the oil and the spray, which one is gonna last the longest? Also, that is another factor that's gonna depend on the blending process, what notes were used, how everything comes together, how everything meshes and, and sort of harmonizes together with the other notes that are joined in, what carrier oils you use, what type of alcohol you use. All these are factors that are gonna come into play to determine the longevity of the fragrance. Typically, you're gonna get a better uh, longevity from your oils. The oil is gonna hit the skin and that is what basically is the determining factor in whether a fragrance is an EDT, or the toilet, an EDP, or the parfum, or uh, an extract de parfum, so on and so forth, is the concentration of oil. But if you have a fragrance that's already utilizing oil as a carrier, you're able to enjoy that fragrance much longer because it's not as volatile as alcohol. Not nearly as much. You put this on your skin, unless you're rubbing it in or you're rubbing it against the clothing, you're at work and maybe you're sweating it off or something like that this is going to pretty much be there the entirety that it can that you can physically have it on your skin i put some oil on my hand maybe a couple of hours ago and i can still see the reflection of it right here on camera the longevity for the oils is to me in my opinion going to be much longer than these than the travel uh than the spray one other thing that the oil is able to do, depending on how you apply, I typically apply straight to the body right out of the shower, and then I'll put a shirt on or something like that over it. Especially in the summertime, 
when I'm working and I'm moving around, running the errands, and I begin to heat up, and I begin to sweat, it'll just reactivate that fragrance. And it's almost like with the sweat and water and everything and uh, the moisture coming from your body and everything, mingling in with that the, that oil, fra that fragrance oil, it's almost like you're reapplying it almost. It's almost like it mimics as if you're sp you just resprayed it. And you will notice it that you just be getting wafts of it and wafts of it and it begins to begin to project now you got a fragrance that doesn't normally project on its own if i was just to place it here depending on what the note layout is but if i was to place it on my body under my shirt and i'm running around throughout the day and i heat up now you got a fragrance that's been on you all day you can get a good smell of it you get a good whiff of it now it's reactivated and now it's projecting. Now it's kicking out there a lot more. Now I was able to travel a little bit more. So it's, it's just a little bit more flexibility when it comes to the oil with longevity. There are some spray fragrances as well that have an excellent longevity. But like I said, that is depending on the note, the blending, all those different things to determine how this is going to last. Most of the fragrances that I noticed that are like this that are the spray form tends to be like the deeper, muskier, woodier fragrances that are built for cold, cooler seasons and cooler weather that can withstand day to day wear and tear, weather and different things like that. Those are going to be the fragrances that I tend to see the most right off the top, lasting a lot of much longer. Ouds and spices and things like that, all and woody fragrances, these ones that I see last the longest, at least on my skin, when it comes to spray fragrances. Another thing that comes to mind when it comes to the topic of oil versus spray is usage. One of the things I notice a lot is when you take spray, I'm saying I wanna put it on my arm here, take this. Now notice that all of that spray didn't hit my arm. You're going to notice some come up here, some goes up here, some's going to come back here, some's going to evaporate into the air. Even some of the fragrance that hit my arm is immediately becoming volatile and evaporating back off into the air. Luckily, the, the oil content for these particular fragrances are pretty good. So the longevity for these is pretty well, pretty well done. And oh, it smells great. But all of that didn't hit my skin. It's a great atomizer and it pushes out a lot of fragrance, but all of that fragrance didn't get, didn't hit me, didn't get on the body. Now you can come closer and you can do it that way. That's a way to do it. But even as you come closer and you'll be able to get a lot of that spray to contact to the body, like I said, it's very volatile. So it's not going to stay there long anyway. It will evaporate and it does it rather quickly. You will notice that in the top, you got a lot of different notes in the top. Uh, top notes of your fragrance once you spray that it's immediately going through that top note phase pretty quickly there are some fragrances that depending on how it's blended may last a lot longer some of those top notes may last well after the transition to that dry down but it just depends on how it's blended and who did it how masterfully they they handled that that's what you're going to get so far as usage and i would should have said the word application that's what you're going to get so far as application on a spray. With an oil, you take this oil, I want to put it right here. Boom. That's 100% application. Okay? I'm going to put it somewhere where you can actually see it. So we'll put it right here on the wrist. Put it on the wrist. That's 100% application. Nothing's evaporating, nothing's going into the air, nothing's spraying down here or up here. Right where I made that move, I did one strike, one swipe here, one there. All that went straight to my arm and it's just sitting there until I rub up against something, rub it off on my shirt or maybe if I dabbed it on my other wrist, so I put it here. But if I don't touch anything, that's right there. But I could spray this. And I can sit perfectly still. It's going to break down. It's going to evaporate. It will dissipate. That's just going to happen with that alcohol being the base. 
going to be much more volatile. But the upside to it is it's going to project more. With this one, it's not going to project as much. I have to kind of come in and give it a little sniff. I may even have to rub it in in order to kind of activate it and get it going. Those are the two differences when it comes to usage on the oil and the spray. Another thing that comes to mind when I think about this particular topic is convenience. When I'm carrying a cologne spray with me, it may be a little obnoxious walking around with a 6.8 ounce bottle of fragrance. You don't have to be this big of a bottle, but if this is what you have and you want to take it with you, unless you got an atomizer bottle, a way to decant this fragrance into a smaller, more uh, convenient bottle as such, you're going to be stuck with that. So being able to decant and create a smaller bottle for your convenience, that's a, that's amazing. Being able to do that, it makes things a lot easier. It makes being able to carry a fragrance much more discreet, reapplying a fragrance a little more discreet. You may be somewhere, you may not have access to go off somewhere private and reapply. You may want to reapply right on the go, right where you're at. And being able to pull something like this out versus this out, is going to make a huge difference. Likewise with the oil. Most oils are going to come in that 8 to 10 mil size. You do have some one ounce oils as well. Uh, I tend to get those time to time if I really, really, really like that oil. But I really don't need a one ounce oil because these things are going to last you a while. You can get them in different sizes though. This here, I believe, is like one sixth of an ounce. Of an, is it an ounce? One sixth of an ounce, I believe. This one isn't too bad. This is from uh, Fragrant Body Oils. Very small in comparison to these size here. Very small, quick little something I'm taking with me, running errands. I just want to freshen up real quick. Boom. I like these. These are super convenient. And as I said before, even when applying these, if I was to apply this, even if I managed to get it decanted and put it in here, just the smell of that alcohol and that fragrance it's so strong and it's so harsh depending on what fragrance you have you reapply everybody's going to notice it instantly because it's fresh it's quickly projecting it's going to travel through that air at a much faster pace with this it, you can reapply this and eventually that smell will get up there but that initial blast of alcohol from a sprayer you don't experience that with this you can quietly and discreetly put this on and reapply, cap this back up and put this back into your pocket and nobody's the wiser. And another point that usually comes up when talking about these two particular types of fragrances, oil versus the spray, is shelf life. How long will these things last? And for the most part, what I'm seeing is these will last typically between one and two years. Uh, but if you have it in a bottle like this matte black it's covered it's not getting a lot of direct sunlight you got it capped pretty well and stored in the place where it's not high heat or super low temps you should be fine this i've had oils in my collection that's lasted me three four five years uh like i said this size you're not going to go through this size no time soon getting super huge amounts of anything sometimes isn't always the best option if it isn't something that you use on the regular but these, I use these quite a bit, so I can get these size and I'll be just fine with these. With the alcohol, it's a little different. I know that some of these, depending on how it's blended, actually does well as it ages. I've heard stories where people have fragrances for 10 plus years, and they'll come back and they'll smell it, and it smells even better than before. And vice versa, if you buy something that's probably cheap, it may be the opposite effect. You may come back in three years and it smells a little weaker. Uh, it may not project as much. Longevity may drop on you. Some of the notes don't smell as well blended as they did when you first bought it. And, you know, that's due to that alcohol. The alcohol, in my opinion, can kind of help preserve it a little bit more in some cases. And in some cases, help sort of drop that, you know, preservation down quite a bit and change the fragrance up and make it a little more volatile in a negative way. Whereas the oils, like I said, it's, a, it's usually a carrier oil, a, jo a hobo oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil. I know Tabahani fragrances, she utilizes a coconut oil. 
she tried to use she tried to use like a neutral one where it doesn't uh affect the chemistry and scent chemistry of all of her fragrances but she uses it as a carrier oil and i think that's pretty awesome and she even makes it into a spray where you're still able to use it as a spray so she's able to have the advantage of you know a spray but with the benefits of the oil and no you know there's no it's not volatile at all no alcohol present at all for the most part i'm still pretty right down the middle and even when it comes to uh the thought process towards oil versus spray um i ha i like them I, sometimes i use them in combination i had a a scent that i had from oil perfumery um i think it was creed aventus and what i would do fresh out of the shower i would take this the oil and i'll put a little bit on rub it in and then i would get the spray and spray a little bit on that as well and sort of layer it and try to just make it a little bit more uh long lasting for that for that particular work day it just depends on how you feel about it and, and what's and what your preference lean more towards I know that me, I can do either or. It makes me no difference. I can do the, the fragrance oils. I can do atomizers. If I really want to have a spray of this, I'll pour this in one of my bottles, get my neutral grain alcohol, and I can make it into an atomizer. You know, I just make sure that I utilize, I just try to be sure that I utilize a neutral grain alcohol that has a, a good uh, number so far as proof at least 190 at the minimum a 190 200 proof neutral grain alcohol something odorless that isn't going to change the profile and that is very low detectable and i can make uh, an atom i can make a spray you know and then if i don't want to use all of it i can keep some of it and keep it as an oil as well it's all about preference i just wanted to come on here and kind of talk about some of those things and address some of those concerns of some of those thought processes on the spray versus the oil that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe if you like this content drop down in the comments and let me know holler at me hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys soon peace